Allison, we've been rolling through Iowa from town to town with Mayor Pete Buttigieg on the bus that he's rented for this tour. His campaign is trying to recreate something similar to the old Straight Talk Express that the late Senator John McCain famously used when he ran for president that allowed him to have really unvarnished conversations with reporters who were covering his campaign. The campaign hopes that this will be an opportunity to hear from Pete Buttigieg at length about topics as opposed to quick answers in a Q&A, sound bites that don't lend themselves to really understanding a candidate and their philosophy, both about the country and also about governing. So we've been talking to Pete Buttigieg on the bus about things like how he's perceived. He told us that he doesn't like the fact that he's sometimes viewed as a technocrat, as someone who is overly pragmatic and that sometimes he gets portrayed as bloodless, but he actually thinks that moral leadership is the most important part of being president. He also talked about Donald Trump and the fact that he still doesn't think that Democrats have figured out a way to deal with the way that President Trump changes the subject anytime anything negative or problematic comes up about him. I also asked him, Allison, about whether he and his husband had to have conversations before they ran for president uh, about some of the hard stuff that would be said about them uh, put forward in the media and other places when you're in the spotlight of running for president. He said, they talked about that a lot, but they decided it was something that they wanted to do nonetheless because of the importance for him in the leadership he thinks that he can bring to the country. Now, all of this comes as a new poll here in Iowa shows Pete Buttigieg in fourth place, only 9% of the vote. That's not really where you want to be when you look at the traditional wisdom of there being three tickets coming out of Iowa. We've been pressing him a lot on why his poll numbers aren't doing so great, particularly when his crowds at his rallies are huge. He's raising a ton of money. Uh, and Pete Buttigieg telling us that he feels pretty good about the fact that he's in fourth, thinks he has a lot of room to expand on that as voters start to make their decision. He also said something interesting today he hasn't really talked about before, which is he thinks there's two tiers of candidates, a top tier that actually have a viable chance of being president and a bottom tier that really are not have a pathway to winning the nomination at this point. And he's glad that at this point he considers himself to be in that top tier.